Hello guys, it is me Kykles and welcome back for a overview first impressions of The Sims 4 Bowling Night stuff and I am so super excited. So I just downloaded this in my game about an hour and a half ago and I recorded all of this footage for you guys. So today we're going to go through the cast items, the buy it build mode section as well as some gameplay towards the end of the video. So stay tuned and let's just get on in it to it. So the first thing that we checked out was the two female hairstyles. The first one was a beautiful kind of like bun with a nice little bit of hair around her face. Little, little bit of texturing going on there as well. The second hairstyle was a shorter bob which had a clip and a lot of curls at the back of it. It was really nice. I love that hairstyle. That was my favorite, I think, but I really did like both hairstyles, so I can't really choose a ultimate favorite. I mean, they're both on the same part as each other. Now, moving on in to the styled looks. I know that we're not looking at the styled looks now. We had three styled looks, which were really, really nice. And on into the clothing now. We've got about six different pieces of clothing for females. I really love the jacket with the little singlet or tunic under it. That is my favorite. But I do love the little crop top that you are seeing on our girl Beverly here. Um, I love the denim shorts. They look amazing no matter what size you wear them. And no matter how you would wear them, they look great. So no matter what size sim you have, they're going to look absolutely fantastic, which is so good. So good to see everything just come together really nicely here. The one thing that I wasn't too sure about these jeans was the fact about the, the tops of the jeans. Jeans. The tops of the jeans just looked a little strange to me. Um, and I don't know why. I think it was because I had the crop top on Beverly. But when I put on the jacket with the jeans, it looked much better. I think now that I'm looking back at it now when I'm doing this voiceover, I think it was just because they went straight over on the hip area. I, I, I don't know. I just... I just don't know how I felt about that. I, it was something about the way that the tops of the jeans were made. I don't know if you guys picked that up, but I kind of prefer my jeans to sit a little bit higher on The Sims. I don't know. I think that's probably why. Now, moving on to males. Uh, the hairstyle that we got, we only got one hairstyle for the males, which was super nice to see. But I, I'm not too sure how I feel about this hairstyle either. I love the sides of the hairstyle. I love the way it's shaved. Um, I love that. Beautifully well made. But I just wasn't too sure about the top of the hairstyle. It kind of had those wispy bits, but they were thicker. And they had like, when you look at the, the hairstyle from the front, it kind of had like the hole where the hairstyle had kind of sat and parted funny. I don't know. I just... I don't know if I was a fan of that, but I do love the sides of the hairstyle, don't get me wrong. I love the back of it, but I'm just not too sure how I feel about the top of the hairstyle, if that makes sense. Will I use it in-game? Yes, I will. Um, Alright, so we had quite a lot of outfits um, come through for this pack in general. The one thing I was a little bit annoyed about and, and quite upset about was we didn't have a styled look for the male. Now, I don't know whether it was my game glitching out, or if it was just me I didn't see it, or I had wrong fit filters on I don't know but we didn't get a styled look for the male which I was really disappointed about but I do feel that everything else that we got in this cast or everything that we got in creative sim I should say definitely made up for that I love 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 the full body outfit for the females I love it it is my favorite we had something very similar and get together a lot of different colors for that outfit so I'm really glad that we got that Alright, so now we are here in buy build mode and first thing we're going to be looking at is the rooms that we got. So we got three different, um, not three different ones, sorry, but we got three different color schemes of this room here. Now my favorite would have to be the middle one. I love the white with the colors. It's just so nice. I love the clean, like the cleanliness, the cleanliness, the cleanness of it. Um, it's, it, it just looks so clean and I don't know, minimalistic. I love that sort of look anyway. Um, with a pop of color like white with a pop of color in a room just looks always great in my opinion We had the three different kind of themes for the bowling alleys Which we got which were really nice and at this point I was really excited to see what this pack had to offer us here 
So we got two new wall coverings. One was a stone covering and then the other was a wooden covering. Now my favorite would have to be the stone because I feel like you could do so much with this. The wooden one I feel like you could too, but the stone patterning was just so beautiful and I think this will look absolutely great on an outside of a house, on the back of a tempin bowling wall, um, in a kid's room, just with like a, like a feature wall. I don't know, I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, the wooden walls I loved, but I preferred the the, the um, stone ones. Uh, the other thing too, which I was really excited to see, I got real, real pumped, was the room dividers and the, the fact that it was like glowing and the different ambience of the ambience of it. <laughs> My voice, girl. The ambience of the back lighting on the wall dividers. Also the bar stools for like sitting at the bar. They were my favorite. I love the cushion covers. You actually get so many different patterns with that. So much different. Like so many different rooms you could use these for. Like you could use it for a country vintage um, wooden look because they have like solid colors. Or you could go for more of a, I don't know, just a different kind of retro electro punk rock bar type thing. Um, I could also see them in a dusty kind of dirty, well not dusty dirty, but dirty dirty. Um, a dusty kind of like, I don't know, dirty pub in Oasis Springs where it's like all deserty and there's a lot of like dirt around, that sort of thing. Like a real dusty kind of vibe pub was what I'm trying to say. Not a dirty pub, but you know what I mean. Like a dusty pub in Oasis Springs. I feel like you could use those bar stools for there too. Uh, these electro lights I love. I'm not too sure about how I feel about the hanging lights though. I, I don't know. I just, uh, I just don't know how I feel about them, okay? I just don't know how I feel. How I feel. <laughs> <laughs> how I feel about the light output of the hanging lights. I do do, I do do, I do do. I absolutely love the uh, the side lamps though. I love the color that it puts out. Um, the color that it puts out. The lighting that the lights put out. <laughs> I also love the side tables too. They're really nice. I absolutely adore, 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 adore the starlight. Um, the starlight, the starlight, star bright. Can you see my light tonight? Mm-hmm. No, like the little star clock was what I was meant to say. I don't know why I said light, because I had light on my brain from the side table lights, and then I had the clock, and I was like, starlight, starlight, star bright. Can you see my light shining in the freaking sky? Mm-mm. Anyways, uh, so yeah, uh, we have a new couch, and what are they called? <laughs> One seater couch. One seat, a couch, and a full couch. What's the freaking difference? Yeah, mm, I don't know. A couch and a side couch thing. Yeah, like an armchair. <laughs> so, you guys, I've been recording for like seven minutes. I'm starting to get all like, blah, 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 like all just all over the place. Um, and then this is the brand new bar that we got, which is absolutely nice. Um, we also got two different wall decal things. One with lots of tempin and stuff like that. And then another one with a huge bowling ball on it. Um, my chair is squeaking and I need to put some CRC on it. More to the fact I need a better computer chair. But anyways, uh, yeah, so here we are checking out the bowling alleys. Love it, love it, love it. And uh, yeah, pretty much that is all that we got, guys. Here you are seeing a little bit of gameplay here. Whoa, we're all over the place. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to go and you guys can watch the end of the gameplay. I love you all and stay tuned for that. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's just go on into the actual gameplay. <laughs> and welcome in to the official gameplay of the sims 4 bowling night stuff so as you guys have seen in the past few snippets we have had the cast items the buy build mode section and now finally we are here for some gameplay today so what we're going to do is we're briefly just going to spend five or ten minutes just going through all the different interactions that I can see that we can do at the Sims 4 Bowling Stuff Alley or Sims 4 Bowling Alley that we have here. Now what I've done is I've just taken the room and I've just kind of upgraded it a little bit and added in the new bar and the shoe rack and just all that sort of stuff here to really experience what this pack has to offer for us. So as you can see we're still at the same lot. I've just put in just a few more bowling alleys and the bar and all that sort of stuff made it into a semi-functional um, little lot here. I mean, obviously, there's not many other people here, so it's not really 
um, a bowling alley as such. It's just more of a lot on their residential area. So um, we still have the option to hire a mixologist, which we're not even going to go do. We don't need to. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to experience everything. So what we have over here is we have our two beautiful kids, Belinda and Kurt. Um, they're just taking a selfie to really memorize and remember the first time they went bowling together. Now, we do have the bowling skill, which the kids have been working on a little bit off camera. So Belinda has the level one. Kurt, I believe, is a little bit more, is he a little bit more higher up? than I think they're at the same level, actually. Um, we also have Jared over here who who uh, has a little bit of bowling skill, but um, we have Beverly who's more kind of into bowling than Jared is. He's more sitting on the sidelines watching his wife have some bowling fun with the kids. So uh, we're going to let Beverly have her first bowl here, and uh, we're going to get some screenshots along the way. And as you can think about, he's like, I will not marry her. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. He's not. They're already married anyways. So uh, we're just going to get some screenshots here for thumbnail purposes. And uh, we're just going to watch her have a bowl here. So she's actually done pretty well. Oh, just when I say she's done well, she does absolutely crap. Sorry, Beverly. I, I must have jinxed it. I must have jinxed your luck. <laughs> sorry, girl. I'm really sorry. I love her outfit. She's wearing, guys, she's wearing the new outfit. She's feeling herself. She's like, yay, I'm here bowling with my family. And uh, she's having a lot of fun. So that's super nice. Um, I think Jared will have his turn next. Is he going to have his turn next? I mean, can we join? Join the bowling game. Perfect. So he's going to come over and he's going to officially join the bowling game with his wife, which is really nice to see that they're all playing together. I'm not too sure, like, how the turns work. I mean, does he go now? Yeah, he does. He's going to have a go. And he's got a black ball that's come out of the thing there. And he's going to have a go here. Oh, my goodness. What? What is that? Did he just do something really awesome? What did he do, you guys? Oh, my goodness. Screenshots forever. I mean, what did he do? He got a four. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, that was cool. I love it. Oh, that was perfect. I love the fire, you guys. I love it. I absolutely love the fact that it came. Go, Beverly. Oh, so close, honey. Belinda, how are you doing over here, darling? What are you doing? Are you having fun? You having fun? <laughs> what, what is Kurt doing? Oh, he's just waiting back here. I don't know why. He's, uh, we don't want to invite anyone to bowl. Is he having his turn? He's watching. Okay, he's watching. Yeah, perfect. And Beverly will be watching too. Uh, yep, cool. Oh, he got a four. <laughs> he got a four. Um, we do have the option to come over here and uh, with Beverly, I think, change our ball, I think, or the kids. Um, someone has the option. Someone someone had the option to change the ball. I'm not too sure who it was. I think we can... Okay, select bowling ball, um, sky blue ball, and we also have the clear skull ball. So she can select the sky blue ball, which we're going to go ahead and select real quick. So let's select that. Has she selected that? I don't know how this works. Matte black ball. Okay, so we can select a matte black ball now. We can select a sky blue ball. Okay, let's do the sky blue ball. And we're going to come back to our lane over here and we're going to try. We're going to try with that ball, I think. I think that's how it would work. So she should have a blue ball when she goes back to her bowling alley. Ooh, this is so cool. So here we go. And I might have Kurt um, select a ball too. Uh, could he select one? He's going to do the uh, matte black ball, I think. And he will come over and bowl in his lane. Cool. So here we go. Belinda with the blue sky ball, sweetheart. How you doing? Yes, here we go. She has a blue ball. She's so cute. I love I love the way that the kids like hold their like bowling balls and stuff. Oh, this is perfect. Perfect screenshot. Oh, do you guys love her? I do. I love her a lot. Okay, here we go. <gasps> she did good. 
good. She did really, really good. And how about Mr. Curdy over here? He's got his um, matte black ball and he's going to have fun with that. So here he goes. <gasps> he did good. Uh, he did really good. Well done. Perfection. That is so good. I'm actually surprised that none of them have got moodlets yet. I mean, just they're, they're happy from having a nice decorated area. But I would think that they would have moodlets from, like, the different balls that they threw and stuff. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, why can the adults not select the different balls? Oh, here we go. Sky blue ball. Okay, let's go ahead and select the sky blue ball. And then she'll come over here and join. And Mr. Jared... He will select what? <laughs> what is he going to select? He's going to select the black ball, I think. Um, okay, he's already got one. Okay, here we go. Go, Jared, go. Oh, so close. Okay. I don't know what these, like, signs mean here. Um, can we add for the moonlight one? Jared is missing some of the required items. Three common upgrade parts into electronic upgrade parts. So I have tried to see if we can upgrade for the moonlight um, bowling upgrade. But it looks like we need three common upgrade parts and two electronic upgrade parts. We also need like the level 10 of the handiness, which he has. Um, so we do need upgrade parts in order for that to work. So here is the bit of gameplay that we have done just to kind of wrap up this overview here. Really, really nice, guys. I love this gameplay. I think we could use a lot of this in our game we could go on dates for the bowling we could just go by ourselves or we could invite some friends to hang out and have different bowling clubs so that's pretty cool that's that's pretty cool so what i'm going to try do is join a club i'm going to try create a club um so it'd be really cool to see if we could go activities um home activities Let's go club activities. Could we go social? I want to see, like, if this has any effect on what we could do. Art and music. It would be under fun and games, right? Go bowling. Okay, cool. So we could totally say, like, go bowling as one. And then <laughs> another one could be... Uh, what else could it be? Fun and games. Uh, I don't know. Like, hang out. Um... Go bowling. I guess that could be the main one. Social. Um, we could be friendly. So that's cool. So yeah, go bowling would be one, and we'll we'll, we'll just call it the the uh, the bowling, the bowling. I don't know the bowling fam. Yeah, perfect. It's so original. It's so original. And of course, we'll invite our family, and we can invite some more people, which would be quite nice. So we'll, we'll do that. The bowling fam. Yeah, and. Uh, I don't know what we'd choose for negative interactions. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Sabotaging objects could be one, yeah. Um, what about if we go under fun and games? Okay, so let's just say that and we'll create the club. And we will choose this club icon. Perfect. So, yes, we are accepted in to this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start a gathering here. Ooh, cool. So, people should be arriving any moment now. Yes, here is our bowling group. Woohoo. So, we've got a bowling group now, guys. And here they come. In they come. I think these are husband and wife, too, which is quite nice. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to come and we're going to invite these guys to bowl if we can. Um, do, 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 talk about the polling fam. Um, discuss for vampires, discuss interests. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to have, woo, girl, yes. Look at that. Look at that pose. Look at that. I love it. She's like getting real into it. She's like, woo, everybody wave your hands in the air. Da, 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 da. Oh, she's really, really struggling with her bowling. And I think that um, we need to let the other guys bowl too. So um, we'll stop her bowling. Oh, did she get an uncomfortable? Oh, she needs to pay. And she got um, the from being in a club gathering, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and invite 
everybody to bowl here so let's go do that so yeah pretty much guys this is it i hope you have enjoyed this overview i know that it wasn't really detailed we didn't get to upgrade to the moonlight but hey there is a whole ton of things that you guys can explore in your own time if you need to so anyways guys don't forget to rate comment and subscribe leave your comments down below what do you really like about this pack are you not really fond about this pack let me know down below in the comments all right guys i love you and i'll talk to you guys in the next video coming real soon bye guys